Hey guys, I'm Viknesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. So in this video, we are going to see one of the important service from Google Cloud platform called Cloud File Store. So we are going to see what is Cloud File Store, what are the characteristics of Cloud File Store and we are going and we are going to implement a small hands on on how to create file store instance and how to mount that file store instance to compute engine instance. So this is what we are going to see in this video and without any further delay, let's get started. So I'll log into my console. So this is my console. The first thing is um, uh, we will go into compute engine instance and before that we'll ex I'll explain you what is file store and what are the other uh, what are the characteristics so here i have broken this into four sub task so the first thing is we are going to see how to create a virtual machine instance that is compute engine instance and then followed by we are going to see how to create cloud file store instance and the third thing is how to mount that file store inside inside that virtual machine instance by SSHing into that vm instance basically we are going to create an linux based vm instance Finally, we are going to create a file on that virtual machine instance and that uh, actual storage will be in file store. So this is the task and we are going to see what is file store. So first of all, uh, file store instance are fully managed file servers on Google Cloud that can be connected to compute engine VMs, GKE clusters and finally even in your uh, on-premise machines as well. So when you are running one particular application in your VM instance like Compute Engine or Kubernetes Engine or even in, in your on-premise also, uh, when there is a requirement or when there is a need for uh, communicating, uh, connecting that VM instance with file store, then we will be using this basically this particular service. So it is basically a virtual based storage system. So like when we talk about physical VMs like uh, persistent disk, non-persistent disk like zonal persistent disk local ssds so those are types of uh, persistent disk which will have a physical location directly mounted to the uh, vm instance itself but when we talk about file store file store is a network attached storage it is a virtual storage where we will be establishing the connection to that vm instance through the help of networking that is through help of the ip addresses so we will be storing our network in a virtual location in a completely in a virtual location that this file store will not be mounted or will not be directly uh, have any relationship or any connection to that vm instance directly this every this is completely through uh, network attached to storage only this is completely operable to um, through um, um, through virtually only it supports file store supports both sdd and ssd since it supports virtually it is more costly when we compare with cloud storage buckets and other vm instant like uh, persistent disk also so file store is something uh, is a costly service and currently sapphire like that company it is currently using this file store in their day-to-day -day real system so the first thing is we are going to create vm instance so these are the configuration details which i have given here the same thing we are going to create cloud file store instance those are the configuration details i have given here the first thing is we are going to create vm instance so the name of the vm instance will be it is taking some time to run yeah. the first thing is we are going to create that vm instance uh, the name of the instance will be demo instance file store gcp so let it be in US central one and zone B, zone A will let it be permanent and in general purpose I am going to configure machine N1. So we are going to configure a small uh, minimum machine configuration itself. Let everything, everything let it be same itself. Even the boot disk also we are going with 10 GB and this virtual machine will have persistent disk. So this particular disk it is attached to that VM instance. But the file store which we are going to create it is not directly attached to that instant that it there will be no communication between this and that the communication will be established through the ip address only that is through network only so this is a linux based machine and we are going to allow http traffic alone rest everything all the things are same even networking this security we are using default the disk also we are not going to uh, add any additional disk we are going to just create create click on this create instance so there is one in here so i'll make sure it and
so instance it has been created now we will see uh, file store so let it create meanwhile i'll show you how to search for file store you can click on this navigation menu go view all products under storage you will be able to find this file store fully managed nfs server so network file server so just click on this file server file store i have already created one service but i'll show you how to create that instance so what are the configuration which i did like the same thing i'm going to do with it so demo 02 if you wanted to add description you can add it here and instant type basically it comes with three instances one is basic then second one is enterprise the third one is iSQL we are going with basic since we are going for learning purpose we will be using basic but when it is in enterprise level and if it involves um, like machine learning so all those things we will be configuring accordingly for this enterprise iSQL we are going with basic and the storage type is also SDD the moment I click on this SSD it will be the cost will be 768 the moment I go with SDD, it will be 204 and the minimum allocation capacity. So when we deal with file store, uh, the minimum storage capacity is one terabytes. The maximum it can go up to 64 terabytes. So we are going with only one terabyte and we are going with SDDD. Best for general purpose workloads, lower cost. Best for performance critical workload, higher cost. So we are going with SDD and uh, only one terabyte and region is also us central one if you see the instance which we created it is running in us central only the same way when we are going to establish the connection it should be in the same region zone also like make it the same zone and network by default we are going to do use default network only so if you are you going with custom network you have to make this configurations accordingly but since uh, we are going with default network we don't need to make any change there and grant access to all clients on VPC network. So this is the cost of that particular service for one month. It will cost around $204.80 per month. So that is read IOPS, write IOPS, read throughput, write throughput. And just we are going to create, create the instance. So here we are, we missed some important thing. This, yeah, files, like configure file share name. So this is the file share name, which we are going to mount into that VM instance. For example, you can give it as volume 2 or volume 1. Then click on this instance. After 3 to 4 minutes, it will create this instance. So this is the instance which I have created for this demo purpose. Here you can see what is the resource type. It's an instance. The status is ready. Overview, you can find it here. The capacity is 1 terabyte. The location, the VPC network, the reserved IP range. Those two. With the help of this uh, configuration only, we are going to establish the connection from virtual machine to this particular file store instance so what is this encryption and label i have given label environment equal to test and all the other details like i have used basic std only and central is all like location is also us central one yeah the maximum like all those things i have added there will be no backups i have not taken any backup yet so that now the evm instance is ready you can directly ssh into that instance so now i'll be able to SSH into this instance. I'm SSHing into this instance. It will take some time. Um, so then we are going to use this commands to do it. So we have created this cloud file store instance and we are going to VM instance also created. Now we are going to mount the cloud file store. The first thing is we are going to update all the packages inside that VM instance. So sudo app get I'm just going to update uh, all the instant packages which is going which is already present there and the next thing is I'm going to install this NFS common common package so with the help of this package only we'll going to establish the connection like NFS common it will take some time so it will take some time to uh, install all those things so the next thing is we are going to make directory and this is the location mount I and then test sudo make directory and mount this make a mount directory for the cloud file store file share by the running the following command so yeah this has been done so now i'm extending this so sudo make directory the directory name is mount and the test so it has been made and we are going to give this instance so we are going to configure this here for example if you see here you can go inside this copy this particular thing and you can come here and replace here with this thing you can copy this you are we are going to mount this particular file store inside inside this location 
this directory which we have created so i'll do this and yeah it is done so the next thing is we are going to give necessary access to that particular folder mount and test and that is also done finally we are going to create a file on that file share so we are able, we establish the connection to uh, file store from that vm instance which we created so the next thing is we are going to echo this this is the cloud platform which i'm going to do with and yes so if you wanted to view it you can do like this like mount test and test file so this is the message which is present inside not inside virtual machine instead it is file it is present this we have written inside this particular uh, file store instance which we have created this file store demo will have this particular inside this one terabyte no we will have this particular message and whatever we are going to mount inside this location it will be directly written into this file store return file store instance so this is how we will be establishing the connection and this is how we will be able to store or write data to that particular file store instance as well so this is how um, uh, we have we have to create file store instance and establish connection to virtual machine instance and file store instance so once this has been done you can go ahead and delete this particular uh, uh, particular instance because it is very costly you have to delete this instance as well so i will be deleting the instance both this as well as this instance so yeah so that's it for this video i hope you learned how to work with file store instance and in upcoming videos this is just an introductory video so that is what like in upcoming videos i'll make more content on file store on how to use file store with gkes and uh, uh, virtual machines like other things other uh, use cases we will be discussing it if you have any questions or any doubts please post that in the comment section and um, uh, please do like comment share and subscribe to cloud and ai analytics and don't forget to click on the bell icon i'll meet you in the next video with more interesting content from google cloud platform and in other cloud platforms as well so until then it's bye from viknesh happy learning